ako urong dito. And I said, I would stake my honor, my life, and even the presidency. Good noon, malaking yung press call. Kasama na natin si Presidential Spokesperson Salvador Panelo. Good morning or good afternoon na ba? Good morning pa. First, I would like to express our condolences to the family, the real family of the OFW that has been, who has been executed. Our government extended help to this Filipino. We provided lawyers or a lawyer for her. And we gave regular updates to the family. <clears throat> it's just unfortunate that this particular case, the Saria law does not apply where blood money can be a reason to stop the execution. So we can we condole with the family. But we tried. The DFA tried very hard to help. And we also condole the killing of that NDF consultant as well as the killing of that village chief, the barangay captain running for Congress. We condemn this slaying. There can be no act of violence against anyone, regardless of whether they agree with the government, whether or not we belong to the same ideology or religious belief. We will never tolerate any unlawful killing in this country. I'm ready for your questions. MPC questions. May follow up kayo sa statement ni Secretary. Other issue, Joseph. So yung kay sa NDF consultant, sir. Hmm? Yung sa NDF consultant yes. kay Randy Malayo, sir. Okay, so there's a statement already from Malacanya, no? Pero um, who, who do you think is responsible for this? We don't know. It's, it's being investigated. But regardless of the motivation of killing, we are condemning it. Whether it's a personal reason or connected with its ideology, we are against it. MPC. It's against the democratic practice and process. Questions, MPC? Ina, may follow up or other issue? Other issue na tayo? Okay, Ina. Good noon, sir. Sir, what do you make of the uh, statement of the Senate President uh, saying <clears throat> that um, he, he plans to ask Senator Lorena Garda na withdraw na lang daw yung proposed uh, GAA, Senate bill ng GAA and just go for a reenacted budget? Do you think this is something that, I mean, is this something that you take seriously or do you think this is maybe uh, an expression of frustration on the Senate President's part? First, as he said himself, Senate President Soto, he said he was frustrated. <clears throat> Number two, but despite his suggestion for a reenacted budget, Senator Lee Garda, who was chairman of the Committee on Budget, declined and insisted. And in fact, last night or yesterday, they agreed to pass the budget next week <clears throat> and we eagerly await the passage of that bill so we, you, in fact we issued a statement to that effect and definitely you will not um, agree to a reenacted budget oh they have already decided not to have a reenacted budget because they said they will pass it mm -hmm. questions MBC may follow up other issue uh, Catherine? 
Kevin. Yes, sir. Uh, good noon po. Sir, uh, hingi lang po ng reaction regarding the CBCP statement. They are warning the public against the no election daw po. They cited the lower house version of federalism which they claim as vague and it will do away daw po the 2019 election. In assurance po from the government. What, you, what, is, what is it against? Against the, what? Uh, Noel daw, sir, they warning the public against Noel. No election po scenario in May 2019 election po. Where did they get the... Sabi daw po nila, sir, they're citing the lower house version of federalism. Hmm. Masyado daw pong vague, baka daw po magkaroon ng no election. Ayun daw po yung concern ng CBC. Well, there is no connection with that. I, I cannot see any connection. The president said there will be elections and it will be clean and it's incredible. Okay, questions? Joy, Joyce, other issue. Sir, according to um, the latest survey in SWS, a uh, majority of Filipinos are agreeing to retaining the age of criminal mm. responsibility to 15 years old. Um, will this change the perception of the president regarding the proposed bill na gumugulo ngayon sa Congress? Again, we said earlier that the, we'll leave it to the wisdom of Congress. The president has already made his position on the matter, but we always respect whatever Congress says on the matter. And according to Senator Soto, I just read a briefer, maybe those who participated in the survey considered the nine-year-old and not the 12-year-old. So you're not concerned, sir? Because at the time the, the survey was conducted, the issue then was lowering it to nine. Yun ang hindi yung 12. Yung sa survey, sir, kasi para median age across uh, different crimes is 15 years old. And um, hindi po ba to parang as mm. if saying na majority of the Filipinos are not supportive of the measure na gusto ng Pangulo? Not necessarily. As correctly uh, pointed out by Senator Soto, it might have been conducted at the time when the issue was lowering at nine. And the president if you recall, said he's comfortable with 12. In other words, the age 12 was not considered in the survey. Perhaps if there is another survey, but even assuming that the majority of the Filipinos would not want it, again, the president will always leave it to Congress. Are you urging the public, sir, to be open-minded? Because in the survey, it's 15. They want 15, the median age. Congress? The well, public, sir. Public. Do you want the public to be more open-minded with the issue? Even that the president is supporting lowering the age of criminal responsibility. Well, they should consider the studies outside of this country. I cannot even understand where they're getting the study that there is a showing that nine year old or 12 years old do not commit crimes. Although they're saying that it's only how much? 1.9% minors are committing crimes, but 1.9 is a huge chunk. If you put the, uh, how many, if, you, if there are about 100,000 crimes being committed, and you say 2% of that, eh, malaki din yun. Ibig sabihin, meron pa rin. But again, let me repeat, para nga, the opposition is always, bakit natin kinukulong ang mga bata? Eh, hindi naman nga kinukulong. Eh. Hindi ko nang mamaintindihan, ba't di nila iniintindi. It's not jailing them. It's protecting them from criminal syndicates and uh, punishing neglectful parents. Because when you deprive custody of the parents, that's a punishment. Number two, the bill, as I understand it, are introducing measures para maging effective lalo yung rehabilitation ng mga bata who are conflict with the law. And I just read Senator Gordon is introducing a bill in Congress amending certain provisions of the revised penal code that instead of, alimawa, naging incorrigible yung bata, uh, sabi mo, whether 12 or 15 year old, 
hindi na siya kukulong. Instead of jailing, community service na lang. Oh, in other words, palaging yung the law always protective of the welfare of the children. Parang mali yung opposition eh. Parang iba ang tinitingnan nila eh. Follow up? Uh, uh, may follow up muna? Other issue, Nestor? Nestor. Morning, Secretary. Uh, China has opened the Maritime Rescue Center on the Philippine Claimed Kagitingan Rift in the West Philippine Sea. Opening what? Uh, Maritime Rescue Center in the Philippine Claimed Kagitingan Rift in the West Philippine Sea. Is okay. Malacanang concerned about this or what will the government do about this uh, recent development in the disputed water? Maybe we should be thankful. I share the sentiment of Secretary Delphine Lorenzana that that could help seamen in distress in that area. It can help everybody. Okay, the position of the DFA, oh, of the Department of National Defense is, it will do nothing because helpful pa nga eh. It's a distress center, ibig sabihin, makakatulong yun sa mga nangangailangan ng tulong in that region. Will this not affect our claims, sir, in the Kagitingan Reef since... Uh, you know, I don't think so. It will not. Follow up, uh, Ace and then Ina. So, but siguro, I will, we will leave it to the DFA secretary. Kasi we will not be preempting. Pre Always the, the president's style is we'll leave it to the departments. Follow up siya, okay, uh, friends second. to all, enemies to none. That's okay. the policy. Nestor is, is the government aware of this, sir, of this uh, establishment of the Maritime Rescue Center? Well, apparently, since it is reach the news, it has reached our ears. But, but how will this affect China's commitment and sincerity in pursuing a code of conduct in the South China Sea since uh, nations or Southeast Asian nations or claimants in the area have agreed to practice self-restraint, but uh, with this new development, I, China is, I think, ignoring... Personally, I don't think establishing a distress center is bad. In and our territory, sir? Even in whose territory? Because it will, without be our permission? it will be helping everybody in distress. They can do it in their own territory. Without our permission, sir? What? Without the government's permission? No, with the permission of, of everybody. But it happened without the government's permission? At our government? Yes, sir. Hindi pa natin alam yun. Wala pa naman tayong, ano, we're just really basing on the news. Kaya nga, I am it saying... It was China who, who admitted, sir, that they indeed established a maritime rescue center. Yeah, they, they are establishing it, but they didn't say that they didn't ask permission from the government. I will wait for Secretary Luxin to say something on the matter. Then so we, we will not protest, sir? We will react. Kaya nga, we will let Secretary Luxin handle the issue. Initially. On the part of Malacanang, sir? Ay, sir, yun, wala muna. Hindi ba style ni Presidente? Hawakan mo muna. Okay, thank you, Nestor. Uh, Ace and then Ina. So, Sec, sabi niyo, <clears throat> we should be thankful we are taking China's word for it. Which one? Yung Maritime Rescue Center. Paniniwalaan natin yun. Na? Na Maritime Rescue Center nga yun. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. If we, for instance, if we see anything that will be inconsistent with what they are saying, then we will make our... Remember, Oof. this is the same country who said na magtatayo lang sila ng kubo para sa fishermen sa Mischief Reef years back. And what happened to Mischief Reef? And this is also the country that promised us then that they will allow our fishermen and not stop them from fishing in their territory or what they claim to be their territory. And they did. Hindi sila inihistorbo doon. So tingnan muna natin. Let's not jump into conclusion. So, pakibu lang sec. If you see something, yung siya sabi nyo kanina, inconsistent. inconsistent. Yes, of course, the government will always protest on anything that intrudes into our sovereign. And those inconsistencies would be like, ano po? Examples. Oh, eh, kung nakita na, eh, meron din naman tayong intelligence, di ba? Kung nakita nila na hindi naman totoo yung 
sinasabi nila na in distress. Halimbawa, mayroong in distress doon, hindi naman nila tinulungan o di, di ba inconsistent na yun? Or garrison siguro. Or garrison. Or meron silang tinayo doon na baka magtatayo sila ng nuclear you know, Basta kontra doon sa sinasabi nila. nila. We will certainly take action. Thank you, Sik. Huh? Anong uh, action daw po? Oh, di siyempre. Initially, it's always a diplomatic protest. Thank you, Sik. Okay, Ina. Hi, sir. Um, do you actually, what What are you saying that um, we're not even sure, sabi mo, if they didn't ask permission from the Philippines? Do you actually think China would ask us permis- permission to put up a structures, put up structures in an area which they are saying is Not necessarily there. asking permission. They can always tell us, oh, we're, go- we're doing, we're going to inform. Ordinarily, kasi countries inform other countries, lalo na pag may conflict, to let you know. So, when they are, mm. you're saying that when they put this up, they informed us and Hindi we let alam. That's why I'm, I, I'm, I'm saying that let's wait for Secretary Luxin. That's because that's his turf. We don't know kung anong may communication ba China or whether the Chinese ambassador saw made any information. Mm-hmm. Even us. Hindi, natin, hindi ko pa alam yun eh. And how can you say, sir, that it will not affect our claims? Eh, naglagay na nga sila ng sarili nilang structure doon sa kiniklaim natin. Hindi na natin. Baka, hindi, Are we, are we really sure na nagtayo na sila? Baka naman intention pa lang. And then why are you saying you're thankful? <laughs> no. Uh, almost as when if you you're basically you're thankful, confirming. Kung halimbawa, naitayo na yon at talagang tumutulong, eh dapat magpasalamat tayo sa mga mga kahit na ibang bansa na tumutulong sa ibang bansa din. Uh, huh? Sir, uh, first off, the, uh, first, the story only came an intention from a of China. Oh, state-run na uh, Chinese huh? media, sir, ang nag-a-announce na hmm. nagtayo na po sila doon. And then eh, you're saying you're thankful. Nalawa. Isn't that a bit uh, being careless if you're saying you're not even sure about it yet? And no, yet what I'm saying them? is, we do, hindi pa nga natin alam kasi news pa lang yun eh. That is why I'm saying that let's wait for Secretary Luxin. Okay. He and must know something that I do not know or anybody. And by saying that you're thankful if, sinasabi nyo nga kung totoo na nag-build, aren't you worried that this might urge I'll, I'll China? I'll be thankful for one, if they inform us initially. <laughs> if? If, yun nga, kailangan condition mo doon. Kung alam natin at wala namang makakasira doon sa claim natin at tutulong sila sa lahat ng mga nangangailangan ng tulong, eh dapat nagpapasalamat tayo. So you'd also be thankful but, if China does this. But, hindi ba may bat ako, but kung nambobola ka lang sa amin at yun yung ginagawa mo lang avenue, ay magkakasira tayo. So you'd also be thankful if China puts up similar structures in other disputed areas including those that we claim. Okay, kung pumapayag ba yung mga claimants eh. Hindi ano tayo sir, let's not ano about the other claimants. Uh, Will we be thankful if China does the same in other areas we commonly uh, claim? <coughs> If it does not conflict with our sovereignty. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Um, they're mm. putting up structures in areas that we claim. How can that not Hindi pa nga natin alam kung talagang may structure nyo. Eh. Right now, we don't know yet. Oye, kahit may state media. Hindi ba may false news? <laughs> Ay, paano kung false news pala yun? Eh, kung false news, ne, but ne, ne, let's false make this, news ne, and then inunahan mo that you'd be thankful if it straight. were true. Teka muna, let's make this straight. If that has been validated, then Secretary Luxin <laughs> will make his position on the matter. We will leave it to him first. Eh, sa ngayon, hindi pa naman validated. But you're inunahan mo na, sir. Eh. Eh, pero kung totoo, thank you. Kung totoo na, yung condition na sinabi ko, nagpaalam, <laughs> o pinaalam na wala namang ginagawang masama, yun ang mga kondisyon. Thank you, sir. Okay. Other issue? RJ? Sir, the BICAM last night said that budget will be obligation-based. Will be? Obligation-based instead of cash-based. The, D- the DPM wanted the uh, cash-based. So will the palace support this that we should be going back to obligation-based budgeting? Okay. Pagkakalam ko, hindi naman total eh. Pwede, pa, ang alam ko, half mm-hmm. obligation, half cash. Okay, ki... You're referring to hybrid uh, budgeting. Parang yun ang intindi ko. Mm-hmm. Ki Secretary Jong. Alright, so, but that's... Uh, 
you will support it. The Bicom said that they will be going back to obligation base. Hindi pa naman sigurado yun eh. Pag nandiyan na, we'll make our comment. Okay. Pag na, pasa. Okay, questions? Last question na tayo? Joseph. So regarding the bombings, no? First, dun sa... Sumbanga. Uh, dalo yun, sir. Pero first, let's go to Holo. Um, what is it really? Um, is it a suicide bombing or remotely detonated bombing? Eh, wala pang final, eh, di ba? Hmm. Pwedeng... Pwedeng may suicide bombing doon sa labas. Sino sinasabi ni Secretary Lorenzana? Eh? Kasi daw may mga kalat na mga body parts. Pero sinasabi niya rin na parang hindi pa culture ng Pilipino yung <laughs> nagsusicide. So hindi pa sigurado. Piniimbestigan pa. Sir, what is the palace's stake that after the Holo bombing we have a bombing in Sambuanga of a mosque? So we, we, as we said in our statement, we're condemning it and it shows that Terrorism is rearing its barbaric and ugly head by having another bombing in that area. But we look at it as a taunting challenge to the capability of this government to provide safety to the inhabitants there. And so the armed forces will unleash each its might and weaponry against these mass murderers. Sir, from a probably a public's point of view, no? Um you've have two you've had two successive bombings. Should I feel safe? Well, if there was no marshal there I'm certain it will not only be one or two. As what happened during the Marawi incident, there was no martial law, and look what they did to Marawi. They destroyed an, an entire city. But after martial law was declared, these are isolated incidents. Uh, so we've had, we have resources of government there, no? Bakit parang ang impression, sir, is that we're just, you know, probably just waiting for the attacks and not preempt them? Not, not necessarily. As we have repeatedly said, a determined killer or determined bomber cannot be just stopped by anyone. They will always find ways and means to pursue their goal. But it doesn't mean we're not doing our job. They are. In fact, the, the lockdown is helping. There, there is very strict implementation, even of curfews. That will prevent the occurrence of bombings in that area. Do you think there is a necessity to expand martial law to avoid a spillover? There's no spillover. It's still to prevent this. Spillover. It's still there. The government will respond. So to whatever no. succeeding events that may happen at the moment, but we're ready for any 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 eventuality in that area. At the moment, no need to we, extend. We, we would like to assure the general public that they can go about their normal activity life, our country is still a safe haven. So at the moment, no need to expand it? There is no necessity for any expansion of martial law, as the president has repeatedly declared. OK, thank you, Joseph. Maglasto na tayo. Uh, Rosalie and I Patlo. Uh, Rosalie Muna. Hi, sir. Good afternoon, Rosalie. Po, sir. Upon the declaration of all-out war against the ASG, does the government see the 
necessity to ask for assistance from other countries, for example, US or China, since we don't have guided bomb. Nung pong nagkaroon tayo ng Marawi siege, nagkaroon pa ng friendly enemies na mismong bomba ng pamahalaan tumama sa mga sundalo po natin. So, uh, sa tingin nyo po, kakailanganin po ba natin ng assistance from the international community para totally eradicate this problem of terrorism? There is no need for any asking for help because they are already offering them those support. Ano po ang particular support na ibinigay na po or Wala pa, nag offer pa lang sila. Sino po, sir? Oh, hindi ba yung mga ibang countries na binanggit ko the other day? Can uh, we... Great have... uh, United Kingdom is one of them. Canada is another. U.S. also. China and Russia. They, they made uh, expressions of condolences at the same time. What particular... Offering. Uh, Wala pa nga sila. Hindi nga sinasabi ko siya. Wala pa nga sinabi lang nila. We are offering our support, whatever assistance we can do. And How about, have, sir, sa part po natin, ano po yung hihingi natin sa kanila? Wala tayong hinihingi. Sila nga nag-o-offer eh. So we will wait kung anong i-offer nila sa atin. How about, tanggapin natin. yung pong nabanggit ko po, sir, yung pong Weapons, mga... Weapons, for instance, hmm. intelligence, so hindi kung yun bibigay sa atin. We will welcome it. Sir, Anything um, that can stop terrorism in this country, we will welcome. Mm -hmm. In the same way that other countries will welcome such offer of assistance. Sir, Comelec admitted na yung pong recent bombing sa Mindanao, sa Sambuanga and then sa Hulu, uh, may affect yun pong mga voters for the Feb 6 plebiscite sa ibang parts ng North Cotabato as well as sa Lanao. Comelec does not have that capability. It's only the armed forces of the Philippines who can say whether it will affect or not because it's them that secure the area. Eh, Comelec, sa atin, ano lang naman yun eh, <laughs> sa eleksyon. Hindi, sir, ibig sabihin yung mga botante, ma ma matatakot na silang bumoto in dahil po sa security. Oo, oh, nag speculate lang sila. Speculate lang kasi they're saying na because nagkaroon ng bomba, takot na takot ng tao. Hindi ba sabi nila, they, they're going their normal activity. They're so, just they're just alert now and vigilant and cautious, but they will vote. So Malacanang you, you must remember that the plebiscite was overwhelming in participation, eighty-five percent. Before the bombing, sir. Oh, but prior to that, may bombing kami ismo dun sa ano eh, malapit sa butohan, di ba? May bom may bomba don. Natakot ba sila hindi? So confident ang Malacanang yes, na definitely. yung pung bombings will not affect the voters. We are confident. Yes. Why, sir? Filipinos cannot be cowed by terroristic acts. For a while, medyo kakabahan lang sila. Pero pag nakit nila, tuloy na naman. Ganyan naman tayo mga Pilipina. They always manage to stand up in times of distress. Okay. Uh, Just like Joseph Morong. Virgil? <laughs> Sir, you said earlier na wala pang final result yung sa investigation regarding the Hulo bombings. Yeah. But the president said categorically last Tuesday that it was a case of suicide bombing. Kasi nga, Did yun, the president speak too soon? Pinapaliwanag nga. Hindi kayo nakikinig naman kay Secretary Delphine. Sabi ni Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, yung information ni Presidente, nakuha niya rin yun, the same okay. information. Kasi may nagbigay kay Presidente na couple daw. So, naniniwala sila. Naniniwala sila. But at the same time, tinitingnan pa rin nila yung angle, whether or not totoo o hindi. Kasi nga, one, sabi ni Secretary Delphine Lorenzana, kung Pilipino yun, parang ngayon lang mangyayari na Pilipino nag-suicide. Pangalawa, pwede rin naman totoo kasi sabi niya may mga body parts. And yet, ginagamit din nila yung common sense nila o kahit naman, pwede rin naman na uh, Nung nagtatakbuhan, biglang dala niya yung bomba, sumabog prematurely. O kaya naman talagang tinapon doon sa katabi. O di, kaya, hindi pa natin alam eh. Okay, uh, Tina? So you attended the reception of the, sa Chinese Embassy reception. Yes, I, I was there. Si Ambassador 
Shao, Shao. Shao, sinabi niya na ano, he extended the invitation to the president to attend the Belt and Road ano, Forum. Will the president attend it in April? The, I haven't the Belt and Road Initiative Forum this April. I haven't attend talked to president. him. Eh. But most likely, given, given the president's inclination to be friendly with China, baka. Hindi ko pa, hindi ko pa. Well, we'll be discussing during the uh, cabinet meeting. Sir, you will, you, sir, magkita ba kayo ng presidente ngayon? Today? Saan po ba presidente ngayon? Ngayon? Kapo, nasa Malabon siya. Kapo ba yun? The other day. The other day. The other day. Sir, today, sir. Ah, hindi ko pa alam kung nasaan siya. Sir, there's, uh, re, te, meron yata schedule of, uh, Tacloban na sinasabi, di ba? Bukas? Bukas. Courtesy call today with the Israeli officials of the Israel Embassy and Russian Federation. Do you have any idea kung anong mga topics to be discussed? Hindi, hindi ko pa alam. Will you please brief us at once? We will. I will ask the protocol. Or issue a statement. Sige. Before deadlines po today. Thank you. We will ask protocol. Chris, tanong yung mga kagad ng protocol. Anong agenda? Protocol lang nakakalam na. Okay. Last two, Joyce and then Joseph. Joy. Sir, sir, nakadaan na si President Duterte sa Manila Bay. Nakita na ba niya? Hindi. As far as I know, hindi. Hindi pa. Pero at least sa news, nakita sa na news, niya sir. na marinas na. Okay. So, an anong reaction ni President Duterte given na uh, marami nagsasabing hindi ito nagawa ng mga nakarang administrasyon, only in his administration na linis ng ganito yung Manila Bay? Uh, wala pa ako na rin na komentaryo niya. But, Siyempre, he will be pleased to know that it's a, it hasn't started because he has been saying that that should, that should start immediately. That was his directive to Secretary Roy. So where do we attribute it, sir? Particularly, where do we attribute? Sino yung mga dapat na bigan na recognition for, for that? Well, everybody. Di ba sabi ni Presidente? Everybody should be given credit. Nobody can claim credit for anything that is an achievement of this administration. Everybody. So he's pleased naman, sir, no? Huh? He's pleased. I think so, yes. When you, when you see your objective being done, somebody will be pleased. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, ang Makabayan block po, they're uh, not really against the yung, yung rehabilitation of the Manila Bay, pero yung, they're questioning yung transparency of what's being done there, na maapektohan daw po yung mga um, illegal settlers or yung mga tao na nandun sa paligid and also they're calling for transparency. Sino yung makikinabang sa reclamation ng Manila Bay? Any yeah, reaction? Ganun din, ganun din naman sila nun sa Boracay, di ba? <laughs> okay, natapos na yung Boracay. Okay naman sa kanila. The usual concern, but the government will always look at the welfare of everybody affected there. But certainly those who are not compliant with regulations will have to toe the line. Sir, last, last for me na lang. Any reaction, sir, na pasa na po sa House on third and final reading, yung medical marijuana bill? Well, uh, that's good for those who are sick. We, are, we, the President has always said that it's, he is in support of marijuana being used as a healing mechanism or medicine. Will he write sa Senate, sir, for the immediate passage of the bill? Will he what? Will he write sa Senate? You mean will he certify yes. the surgeon? Does not have to because they are bent also pass on passing that. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, follow up muna sa Rose Novenario. Hi, sir. Pa. Hi. Follow up ko lang doon sa Manila Bay re uh, Rehabilitation. Sabi ng makabayan block, sir, uh, prelude lang itong rehab na ito sa 43 reclamation projects na pinirmahan. Kasama raw po doon yung Pasay City Harbor Project na joint venture po ng isang kumpanya with Davao businessman Dennis Uy. Ano po ba ito? Parang... What do you mean preclude? Prelude po, prelude. prelude. What does it okay. mean? What, what does uh, parang inihahanda daw po yung Manila Bay para dun sa reclamation project na ang makikinabang ay mga dambuhalang kapitalista like Dennis Uy. Uh, not necessarily. Well, when you clean up Manila Bay, certainly all of us will benefit 
Now, with respect to, pro to reclamation, even the government will benefit from that because we get, if, if I understand correctly, it's 65, 35. 65 ang atin laki. That will generate income to the government because of the sharing, and that will generate jobs because if they will be establishing structures there. So establishing companies, the siempre may mga workers. Yun 300,000 informal settlers po na maaapektuhan ng rehabilitation. Anong plano ng gobyerno ron? Oh, then we will have to find a place for resettlement. And also, siempre yung mga involved sa reclamation, they have to contribute to the solution. Dahil hindi naman matutuloy yun kung nandun sila. So, obligahin po ng gobyerno yung mga negosyante o mga kumpanya na magbigay ng pabahay para dun sa mga madidisplaced na informal settlers? Most, hindi lang obligahin. Most likely, they will. Kasi my experience is, pag may problema yung mga may-ari ng lupa, they, they do not rely on the government anymore. They offer to resettle them. Kasi mas uh, profitable sa kanila. Kesa hindi umalis doon, magdi-demand na pa ng mga tagalan. Meanwhile, yung mga projects nila nakatenga. Yes, sir, thank you. Okay, last question na tayo, Joseph. Sir, uh, with regard to China, no? Uh, <coughs> okay. In principle, sir, um, do we not see anything wrong with China erecting structures? Let's do away with the name. It's a structure being put by China in our uh, territory. Do we see nothing wrong with it? You know, I remember mm. during the last trip, mm. they precisely agreed to create a group. Yes. And I understand the Philippines president is the coordinator. So whatever concerns each one has, we'll have to pass through that. So I suppose that group will have to consider any construction of structure from China. But sir, um, just an ask the question. Um, do we see nothing wrong with it? Anything that will go against the present claim certainly will be not good. And China should know that too. Okay, na, Joseph? Okay, okay, okay thank you, President. Okay, follow up. Tina Mendez. Sorry, were you referring to the bilateral consulta consultation mechanism? Mm. Sorry, sir. Yung sa budget? Mm -hmm. Yes. In the, I mean, China, China. Ah, yung, ano, yung Crenate? Yeah. Mm -mm. So can we say that the palace is asking the BCM to look into the matter? With your recent statement, sasagot niyo kay Joel. I don't know how the, how that committee works. Hindi ko alam pa kung paano how. Basta alam ko lang, there is a group. So I, I cannot respond intelligently to that. So Being ignorant on the process. <coughs> So can, can it be na the palace will ask the BCM or moto proprio can the BCM act on the latest developments? Hindi ko nga ba, I cannot respond nga kasi hindi ko alam kung anong process, how it will work out. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, MPC. Thank you, Presidential thank Spokesperson you. Salvador Panelo. Back to our main studio sa Radio Pilipinas and People's Television Network.